Let's oh, got the barbecue wing. What's this barbecue wing all about? Barbecue wing, eh? I used to keep my lunch in the freezer in the frozen room down there. I should stop. Door got wet shut somehow. Only way to get there now is to go through the steam tunnels. Ain't much point to keep a lunch in the freezer if we're gonna carry through these hot steam tunnels after. What kind of lunch do you need to keep in the freezer anyway? Ice cubes. Oh. You're curious about the vector wing. Somebody scrolled some weird symbols on the wall next to a paradox lab. Don't know why anybody want to do a fool thing like that, considering how every classroom has got a chalkboard with scribbling wheel, scribbling weird symbols on. We're getting a purge cover with because they're using it all to paint the infinite hallway. Had to use chalk instead. Ooh. Paradox lab in the vector wing. What's up with that spider wing? Sheesh. Ugh, pert much gave up on that place long ago. It just ain't possible to keep the webs under control. Plus, one of the dang spiders stole my denture the last time I was there. Can you believe it? Fireman scuttled off behind the drinking fountain. So if you find yourself over that way, you might keep an eye out for those dentures. Miss eating solid foods. Shock at them. Thanks, appreciate it. Can you tell me anything about the scalar wing? Ah, the good old scalar wing. That's my alma mater, you know. Really? Yep, liberal arts class. <laughs> liberal arts. The liberal arts class is just a janitorial closet. Sure enough, there's a big area next to this door covered in chalk. Difficult to see because it's white on white. Wiped away. There's hobo code hidden behind where the chalk was. You try to set the code, it's weird. It's a set of instructions that don't seem to make much sense. You study them for a while and begin to understand. Apparently, it's a sequence of actions that'll allow you to open the door to the Paradox Lab. Start with the first step. Start with the first step and then... March and play for two steps and then... Turn 15 degrees to your right, and then... Turn 90 degrees to your left, and then... Take 7 steps to the left, and then... Take 3 steps backwards. Snap your fingers, and finally, jump! As you complete the final step, you look up to find yourself inside a paradox lab. It is a howling chaos that cannot be described in text, and you... That we have unfortunately also declined to present visually. <laughs> You marvel at the angles. You giggle at the math. You begin to sweat as you consider the ratios. Grab a cup of coffee to go. You got an item. No coffee. All the coffee cups you've ever seen, this isn't one of them. What a journey. Well, then now that, that'll be a wonderful item to go along with our no tongue. Said. Right, so we've been to the vector wing. What's there a spider wing? Ah, spider wing. There it is. They said... One of the spiders be behind it. Here it is. Drinking fountain is filled with spider eggs, making it the second grossest drinking fountain you've ever seen. Look behind the fountain. You appear behind the fountain and see a massive spider with human teeth. Every inch of your skin suddenly traits places with a different inch. Spooky armor. This'll do. Need more spooky teeth. Need more spooky armor. Uh, here it is. Green visor. Retreat the teeth. You steal your nerves and reach for the teeth. The spider is motionless. The spider remains motionless as you grab the teeth and continues to, continue to, re continues to remain motionless until you wrench the teeth out of its mouth, at which point it crumbles to dust. You got an item. Janitor's dentures. False teeth covered in little pieces of spider. Taken back to the only person who could possibly want them. Apparently it wasn't a live spider at all, but a molten spider skin. That spider's gonna be really annoyed with himself when he realized he'd left his teeth in his other skin. Yeah, what an embarrassing mistake.
found you that chair, so it was a pretty awful experience. Oh, now, thank you kindly. Oh, geez, you're just gonna pop through without even wiping them off, huh? Oh, I'll go grab some mouthwash later. Oh, assuming Rufus has nothing else to tell us. Nope, nothing. Guess we can go back to... Oh, assuming there's no other location we need to... Oh, what's this? Must be that used textbook sales again, because there can't be too many of these guys. You haven't been buying your textbooks new, have you? I told you, it's a scam. Buy used, always used. Speaking of, can I tempt you? Advanced magnetos Magnetospheric Flux. And it's a spell damage perk. Those seem very expensive, right? And they want you to buy it new! Sure, it's a deal. Good deal and a great victory for the free thinking. Don't ever buy your textbooks new, my friend. Don't let them ever make you think you gotta. You gotta advance magnetospheric flux. He had drops the pack to the, se to the sewage as a campus security guard turns to the corner on a bicycle. Oop, more shadows. More meat. Hang on, Clarence is in a flaky See, I need to make some adjustments. Come on, little buddy, what's the source of breakage here? Bleep bloop. Oh, is that all? Easy fix. What's wrong? I overfilled the fuel tank and it was sloshing around and then munching up the electrical connection. That sounds real bad. Could have been worse. Stuff isn't very conductive. Here, I siphoned off the access. You can have it. What am I going to do with this? I don't know, but I'm curious to find out. Yay, more XP. Yeah, this is an easy grind, easy, easy grind for XP. Complicated SIT book. Cover this book where we paint a sky blue across if it's way over your head. You know what? I'll take it. Got an item. A2.539. Applied math mechanical algebra. I have no idea what that means. Good for XP at least. Let's see what books we got. Little forces that control destiny and destiny of our lunches. It's really abstract. Getting through it's gonna take some real effort. What's this one? Look at the first few pages of the book, and only the first and the only thing you learn is that you better be off selling this to a used bookstore than try to comprehend any of it. You still actually get a decent chunk of change for it. Nice. This, although even though subject matter is complex, this book is written in such simple language that even a child homo could understand it. So it's going to take an adult level of willpower to actually finish the thing. You study the book until you memorize a bunch of techniques you're getting people to relinquish additional meat. You got a perk, expert panhandlery. You drop the book in one of the SAT's pneumatic book return chutes so it can be used some use to the next prospective hobo. The rising balance lifts all ledgers. That's a lot of uh, books I need to do. Yeah. You read the book and develop a deeper appreciation for the unseen forces in your life. Put the book down for a second to muse on it. And speaking of unseen forces, have anybody seen your book? Spooky. Yeah. Perks are always good.
All right, now we can go back to Ocean City, I think. Unless there's some weird space in the Crystal Tree, Black Crystal Dream Lake. Nope, doesn't look like it. See, uncursed evil book. Take the book back to the antique store. I got that book, and possibly, possibly also a bachelor's degree in robotectronics. I'm not exactly sure. Wow, sounds like a busy day. Yeah, it's a fair assessment. I'm going to bed now. Okay, sleep tight. Don't forget to uncurse the book. We're having trouble pinpointing the next artifact, but we should have it sorted out in the morning. Okay. Oh, call Don T. Read out the number. Don Toblerone's taking. Don? That was unusually concise. Are you feeling okay? The boss is mad about our telephone bill. I have been encouraged to keep this brief. I see. Well, what's the job? Greasy's tea will have the details for you. Ah, oh, okay. Charles' desk. There's current, there isn't currently a Charles at it, though. Hey, Jessica, where's Charles? We had to deal with some interference we were getting in with the Detectortron. I'd have thought he'd be back by now, actually. Well, don't worry about it. Go get some sleep. Oh, fishing wall is also cursed. Huh. I'll have to get that later. First, back to the fishing ships. Greasy Steve swallows and drags his sleeve across his mouth. Hey kid, good to see ya. Have a french fry. They have fries here? I didn't see that on the menu. I bring my own from home. I'll pass, thanks. What's the job? Bob's decided we need to send a message to Congressman Shutley. You familiar? Sure, message is when the information is conveyed from one person to another. I met with the Congressman. Never met him. His son Chadley's a student here. Lives at one of the frat houses, Zeta Omega Omicron. I know the place, so? You're gonna have to make young Chad sleep with the fishes. Whoa, I didn't sign up for. BCC sack you, uh, passes you a large sack of rotting fish. Huh. Ugh, this thing is dripping with every kind, different kind of fish fluid. Why couldn't they put it in something in that that didn't leak? Oh, I didn't sign up for this either. Look, all you gotta do is get into the kids' room and some lead pipe cinch. I don't know what that means, but okay. Oh yeah, this room. Gold plated door assigned to it that says Chi Chutney. Seems reasonable that the C stands for Chadley. Sneak into Chad's room and dump the rotting fish out into his bed. After tonight's inve inevitable razor, he'll stagger back to his room and pass out without even noticing them. The perfect crime. Bada bing, bada boom. How much XP do I have? 59. Ugh, 59 on spent XP. You see that on a crossbow. Oh, how'd it go, kid? Got some news for me? Yeah, the kid's bed is full of fish. It was a left pipe cinch, like you said. Still don't know what that means though. Nobody does. That's why it makes such a great turn of events. Anyway, nice job, kid. Now Congressman Chutney will have to know, really know who he's dealing with. He sure will. You got a briefcase full of meat. Yay. Alright, back to Ocean City. Oh, another message. Salutatory Grish. Retationing, the person who activated the telephone mechanism and with whom you are now conversating is known as Don Toblerone. Like you said, boss, you said you had to keep it brief now. We devised and then agreed upon an arrangement deemed satisfactory to both parties. Let me guess, you're paying the phone bill. Your guessing prowess is perfectly efficacious. efficacious. That's what they tell me. You got another job? Once again, I have particulars this undertaking are being held in a scroll and will be transmitted to you orally by a colleague who. Greasy Steve, got it, goodbye. Oh, 
What's up with the grim looks, Steve? Got a serious job for you this time, kid, and ain't gonna be easy. After the last few jobs, I could do with a challenge. That's not a doubt, take your far, kid. Maybe right off a cliff, though. So what's the job? There's this vampire, real mean as so we, that got one of our capos li really steamed. Like, really steamed, as in literally steamed the guy to death. What? It's one of those mist type vampires, you know, but real hot. They don't mean hot as in good looking. I see. Maybe. If I was in the steam tunnels under SIT, you managed to seal the thing up in there. Someone's gotta go take care of it for good. That's right, come in, huh? That's the long and short of it, kid. Here's the combination to the door. Don't go in there half cocked. He hands you a bag of folded he hands you a folded slip of paper and a sack of rotting vegetables. You got an item. A bag of spoiled vegetables. How are these supposed to help? Or not. I just want you to I just want you to throw them away from me. Or hell, keep them. I don't care. Swell, thanks. Muscle plus four sleeve damage. That's pretty nice. More robot fuel. Let's see, here's the one with the combination lock. Where's the combination lock? Use a combination greasy Steve gave you. Steve knows says one, two, three. Jeez, these guys. We down the combo and the lock clicks open. Head inside. A group of nasty vampires enjoying the steam. Their bosses use you malevolently. Talk to them. Looks like you got something to say. Me? I am merely amused at those mob ruffians that sent the Neo fight to clean up a mess in which one of their own lieutenants got out. I will boil your blood like a sweet mud wine human, and my servants and I will drink a toast to your demise. Yeah, that is pretty much what I was expecting. This old disintegrating boiler is currently being powered by a bunch of burning garbage. These vampires seem to be enjoying the hot steam. Consider the boiler. Hmm. If you could replace the water in the boiler with holy water, that would put a crimp in there. Fun. You don't only need like a hundred gallons of it. Where am I gonna get a hundred gallons of holy water? Hey, don't ask me. I'm just just asking things. Wait. Are vampires also allergic to running water, even if it isn't holy? The sea count as running water? Hmm. We're gonna need 15 mysticality. Well, I got eight mysticality so far. I'm gonna need more. I don't think I can get more, that's the problem. I should probably get my fish goo removed. I can do this task right now. I'm gonna need a lot more mysticality. Mysticality. Ooh, got new items. I'll have to get some of these later.
Allows free, huh? Albert beams with pride. Just so, this is not some back galley haberdashery. A louse has never made it and it will never make its home in one of my hats. I give you my word as a businessman. Now you must have a lot of louse hats in the back, right? Please, you insult me. I do not traffic in louse hats. Really, that is quite offensive. Come on, you can tell me. I would lose my license for what you suggest. My goodness, I don't want to wish this any further. Alright, I emptied his inventory. Yeah, I think that's enough for today, or well, in-game anyway. Except for the curses. Should probably fix that. What would you like to uncurse today? Uh, Libram Umbra Malum Ovila. Ita Vero, you offered a grim Latin tome to the machine. Your head tinkles as the machine thrums and vibrates. Inhuman vials ovulate in your ear. Dark words form at the tip of your tongue. Cacophony of languages reverberates and resounds and POW! Suddenly dissipates. Curse is severed from the book. All that nasty Latin has been wiped away, revealing the uncorrupted beauty underneath. You get an item. 101 delicious mutton recipes. Having looked at the curse, you realize that it's a cookbook. It's a cookbook! The book's curse now lives in the machine. I don't think you can project your consciousness into it. Think again, pal. Hey, last small bird. Agi has lost much to the wolves. Still, he hunts. Hails, Agi. Spit on a son of Rome, grandchild. Frivia. Heinrichus offers power on top of peace. Power in return for suckling the sucklings of a she-wolf. That is no power. Agi drinks the milk of bears and he spits on sons and daughters of Rome. Agi speaks much of suckling. Talk plainly. No truce with Empire Grim healed. Frivia. Yeah. There's still wisdom left in old Friedmont for those who still who ask the right questions. Heila Grim Shield. Heils. Not often is Latin spoken on our soil without bloodshed. It augurs well for our future. Heinrich's Goff has much power. Yeah. The tribes who ally with the Empire are greatly rewarded. But I can name no tribe who would be as powerful as you, Grimhild, if you are good to that man. Free the not. Do not. Don't speak of marriage at this time. Ah, why scold me? Will it not go well for our future and yours? A secure peace for all, with much power to you and benefits. Would you not like to have fine silk cream healed and spices and fine creams? Hennikis has much confidence to come here alone. Ave, barbarian. Hails. I stand before you in the name of Imperator Gaius Julius Caesar Divus. Dominus these lands. The Imperator's birthday is next Mercury's day, and it is a big birthday. He will be 40. Sign his birthday card, barbarian, and the Empire shall look with favor upon your tribe. more muscle for this if I want even if I want to do that hmm. let's have, I just let's just I just like having the option we could threaten him when we are in pub ah so you seek in private to apply with me with sweet words but now you call me barbarian I am an official business, Grimhild, and my words are chosen accordingly. If you do not perceive my passions, it is only because I have dominion over them. Speak not of passions to me in this place, seek guest. That beside Henry Kiss, or I go right through you. I don't respond to threats. Hmm. 
Look at me. What would happen to the man who stands in my way? I don't respond to rhetorical questions. Rhetorical? Do you know how many men I've killed? Very well, I guess tell me. How would you like to die today? I don't respond to open questions. Remember what happened when you first annoyed me? I don't respond to recall and process questions. Are you attached to your eyes? Do you think you will still be by sunset? Fair, Grimhild. It is fairly won. You are right. I will not wish to lose my eyes and be deprived in turn of your fine beauty. It's not personal, Hendrikus. It is just a birthday call. Are you attached to your eyes? A sharp wit is yours in him. Which is yours indeed, Grimhild. But oh, if you had only lashed me with a Latin tongue, your bars would ring like great poetry. You bore me with your Latin. Ya, yeah, Grimhild. This is a foolish man. He's of no danger to you. Birthday card to Imperator Gaius Julius Caesar Divus is a powerful art document. There is no better opportunity for a tribe in the north to gain Caesar's notice and favor. Punch the card into the sky. Twinkle. Consumatum est. The curse that had lodged within that forbidden and nasty text has been unwritten and undone. And you find in it a fascinating final chapter you did not notice before. And you waste to prepare mutton. What a bounty! Happy birthday, Caesar, wherever you are. Thanks, Slime, but it's Jessica, not Caesar. It's not, and it's not my birthday. My mistake. Meaty expertise increases meat drops. This book is so much less scary than it used to be now that, that it's now almost as boring as a real book. Read it. This 11 chapter cookbook consists of one chapter of actual mutton recipes preceded by nine chapters devoted to techniques for securing the mutton in the first place. You're not that interested in mutton acquisition, but the tips have some general applicability. You got a perk, button magnet. There's one more chapter? Final chapter is density of information that is going to take some time to parse. There are some mutton recipes for sure, but also detailed information on basically every other kind of meat that exists. You want to foray into the text. Start reading. This chapter goes into dismaying detail about all kinds of meat, and you glean some useful facts that'll help you find more meat than ever before. You got a perk, meaty expertise. You can now further enhance your meaty expertise for 10% per more meat drop if you have the time and energy to devote to it. Keep reading. Among all the facts and figures you learn that the author grew up in a cabin made of meat, the kind of affluence boggles the mind. Skill upgraded. You can now further enhance your meaty expertise. Hmm. I wonder if it's just forever. But yeah, we're gonna get a lot of meat starting next chapter. Let's go back to Mysticality. What would you like to uncurse today? The cursed fishing rod. The machine winds up, whirring and humming at odd intervals, casting for about some elusive per frequency. This continues for some time and you begin having difficulty breathing. As you fear you might pass out from the incessant cycling, it suddenly stops with a the curse has been removed and you can breathe once again. You got a cursed fishing rod. The fishing rod's curse now swims in the very depths of the machine, daring any astral fisherman to about to come down and get it. Go fishing! Night he chooses me. This is the night he chooses me to live in you above the sea. Choose me, me, me. What the hell is going on here?
Is this the fish? Hear her song. Nobody sees and nobody moves. Poor or invisible, club cloof. Club glubby for Lou. But you can make this Lou sir a winner if he'll revert me upstairs as somebody's dinner. Nobody knows a trout is sweet as saucy Mr. Calvin Meat. I like to kiss the other trout on the tails or... I like to kiss the other trout on the tails or thereabouts, but I'll tell you my most base desire to be fished and thrown into the fryer. What the fuck? What the hell? I make a mischief of a wretched soul. Chaos is fish sticks, fisher sticks only goal. Well, almost only. See, I'm very lonely. And to you, I won't lie. Tonight, I like to die by a hook and then be cooked. That's a bit awkward to say. Calvin meat. Your mind tingles. The rushing rod's curse has caught another fish today. And you get the feeling, the more fish you help him catch, the happier he'll be. But who's he? You just know, deep in your gut, that this curse is a man. Not in the way that sailors talk about their ships using female pronouns. This isn't a male curse. This curse is a man. What the heck is going on? Okay, but that deals muscle plus two. This is very odd. And I have no idea what I'm doing. Hmm. I'm gonna leave that be for now. Now let's get some sleep. Oh, I almost forgot. Before we left on his errand, Charles asked me to leave you. Have you pick a third store? Of course. First applicant is La Table Enchante. It's like high end kitchen store, magical utensils and the like. Second is Advanced Pants. Doesn't say what the plan on selling, but I assume that it's pants. And the last applicant is Rodkin's Fine Jewelry, a jewelry store that could really class up old Plunkett Street. Mm, let's go with the pants store. Okay, I'll get them moved in. I'm sure Charles will get the next storefront ready for applicants. You had a big day, you woke up, you started college, you finished college. Get some sleep. Yet another fitful dream. How can you see when your bed is floating? You always look back fondly on your afternoon at college. Three statues of you, each whispering. Whispering drifts in and out, all mixes together, making it hard to understand. All I got, all I ever, all I'm doing. Brawn, study, bluffing. 
chop one of them up. Uh, hmm. Put the scowling one up. You quiet one of them, now you can hear the others. You've given yourself a pep talk and convinced yourself you can tackle your current problem with style and expertise, sucker. Huh. This dream has a horrible hole in it. Go through. No going backwards here. My research wasn't thorough enough. What did you do, you idiot? Something was keeping me out! Will the barrier hold without me? Perhaps through this here as an ending, one can hope. You aren't interested in being him again. Go away back to the waking world. You're dreaming, so it probably isn't safe to look closely at your character sheet right now. Step through. 